down to the high moisture corn bunk right now <clears throat> um, it's just about empty we haven't got much left it is uh, Monday morning right now and I would suspect by the end of the week this high moisture corn is going to be gone and when that's gone we have to switch over to the big smet silo which is right there now we used um, the auger that comes out of that smet silo that goes to the commodity shed to get the corn from the roller mill into this bunk we backed it up to that wall right there and uh, augered the corn over the wall so right now we're going to take that auger um, we've got a gearbox that we put on there um, a PTO run gearbox so we took the auger out of the commodity shed room put the PTO gearbox on there you know took the electric motor and all that crap off um, we've since put the electric motor and everything back on there, but I didn't want to stuff it through the wall Back wall of the commodity shed because I didn't want anybody to hit it with the payloader while they were bringing this corn in for the last Nine ten months or so so we're gonna set that auger up here this morning and then towards the end of the week we'll be rejoining you guys um, when we set the silo and loader up to start getting corn out of that silo we've since covered the silo after we filled it leveled it off covered it and um, towards the end of the week here once this corn's gone and this bunk will open the silo up but right now we're gonna set the auger up so that that part of the the job is done All right, I'm at the silo here now. I'm getting ready to set the auger up to the silo chute. And it's going to go through the back wall of the commodity shed, dump into the high moisture corn bay for when we run the corn out of the silo. Um, I had a piece of material on here that was used as a funnel that went down and hooked to the auger. I cut this old piece off, and I'm going to go ahead and put a new piece on here. All that material is is heavy. Um, curtain material that we use on the sides of the barns. I just wrap it around there, secure it with a hose clamp, and then hose clamp it to um, the auger as well, and it, it kind of keeps the mess off the ground here. Um, I just fold it over, we can still reach inside and uh, clean this out if there happens to be a, um, you know, a bunch of crap that gets in there or something, or if it kind of half-ass plugs up. So. We're going to put a new boot on there and then we're going to get the auger over here and set it up. Alright, now we're ready for the auger to go in here. Um, the trouble with this chute is, is it's um, tapered. This cone is tapered, so um, just putting a hose clamp on there is not going to hold it because it's all the time going to want to fall off. So I put three bolts in here. So that's bolted in. Now we're going to run down and get the auger and then we can clamp this right to um, the auger here. Alright, this is what the auger looks like from um, the other side here, coming through the back wall of the commodity shed, and it doesn't quite drop in the center, but it drops in good enough. This corn here is from, um, this is from the, uh, the bunk, high moisture corn from the bunk, so we can dump a pretty good pile in there. We, we don't know, we have only put about this much in here, a day's worth, and uh, call it good. So that's set up and we'll open the silo up in a couple days. All right, this is all set up for when we open this silo up in a few days here. So we'll be coming back at you in a few days, right Nate? Probably Nate would be the one to go up in there and help me open this. He, he's the one to help me close it, right? 
whoever helps me close these silos helps me open them. So you uh, you don't get the help this time, Jay. Sorry. That, hey, that's all right. I did it for right. how many years? Yeah. All right, we'll be back at it in a few days here. We're all set up anyways. We haven't got this fiasco to deal with. So. All right, so we have, uh, I'll climb up in there and I'll drop that rope down. Um, got a grease gun and some gear oil in there. I just want to check the gearbox. We filled everything um, in the fall, but I just want to make sure. The time it leaked out, the seals ain't the greatest on them. So this is the clean chute here. Uh, just tie a string around it and then uh, you can set this up as well. Alright, so I'll run up in here, send this rope down and I'm ready. And then you'll have to send me So, up we go. All right, so this ended up uh, settling quite a bit here. Um, we didn't end up refilling this because we ended up putting corn into the bunk. And we wanted to get going as soon as we could uh, filling the bunk. And we thought if we got on the bunk we would uh, yeah we thought we would um, refill this so we're gonna go ahead and pull up our uh, stuff here I gotta get the cover off throw that out the door down the chute and then we've got to uh, lower the unloader here so all right Vinny you got that that hook should be right at the door all right I'm just gonna cut this plastic probably cut it in quarters and um, hopefully the corn is just as fresh as can be underneath it here All right, so I ended up cutting the cover up in one, two, three, four, five. I got it cut up into six uh, pieces here. And then uh, what we ended up doing is we cleaned the unloader off on top of the cover to kind of seal things up around the outside. Now, we did not uh, refill this silo after we filled it last year. And it ended up settling one, two, three, four, five. It ended up settling uh, six doors. So, um, it was up to, um, I have two doors left out for the unloader to go around, so we're going to have to move, uh, uh, let's see, we'll move that door, and that door will move them up, and then that's where we'll set the um, blower pipe, which is still setting on the unloader. We've got the unloader pulled up to the top of the silo for when we filled it, we took the blower pipe off that we've got to set on there. There's a distributor up on there that spins the corn to the outside of the silo and then this unloader um, runs around in a circle while you're filling just like it does when you're emptying it out and obviously the corn blows up through the, the gooseneck there and comes down on top of the unloader for 
anybody that's not familiar with that. So then he's getting stuff ready down below, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to gather up these covers here, and we're going to send the crap down, and then we're going to drop the uh, pieces of plastic. So as soon as he's ready, we're going to gather these up and kick them out the door. All right, it is hotter than hell up in here. Um, we've got the cover. Um, we've got it all dumped off. Now we just got to throw the cover down through uh, the chute here. I've got it all piled up over here. Um, cover did its job. We got nice uh, fresh corn underneath that, and we're not going to have to throw um, anything away. So we're going to throw these pieces down, and then we're going to let the unloader down and, and get that set up.
All right, so they're starting to let that down now. Um, this unloader hangs from what's called a tripod. It's got three legs on it. And then there's a, a triple cable that comes up the side of the silo here. I can show you that right from here. You can see the cable coming through the side of the silo right there. And then the three chutes go off each way. So uh, you need the silo loader up to the top so that um, when you're filling, um, when you're filling, it's up out of the way and then it hits the corn, hits that distributor there and that distributor kicks it out to the outside of the silo. And then the silo loader rotates the whole time while you're filling. So we're going to let that get down there. While that's going down, we're going to drop our silo cord and pull two doors up.
Alright, we're gonna stop there. All we've got left to do is just set that point uh, down in there. Alright, we are just about done here. We've got the blower pipe on there. I just got to set a couple of doors in. i to save one for the bottom. And I'm going to put one up a ways there. Alright, so I'm going to pull this door up. And, uh, and then we'll hook that chain to the step of that door. All right. This old guy don't fit through this chute too good anymore. All right, we've got it all set up, ready to go. We're gonna raise it up here a little bit and then we're gonna turn it on. We just tried or everything worked so we're gonna start sending some of these some of these parts and things down that we've got in the pail and then that's gonna be it for this job here Before this ends up in, uh, so this guy here.
All right, we're all set here. Just going to recap a little bit. Um, we filled this silo obviously back in the fall with uh, ground corn. We ground the corn on the way in. This is high moisture corn that we put in here. And then we had it filled within two doors of the top. So it was down just below that one right there. And then it had settled two, four, seven doors, about 15 uh, feet roughly. This silo holds a thousand ton. And um, we went from filling this silo to filling the bunk. And when we filled the bunk, we had to take the blower off of the roller mill and we never came back to uh, refill this. Had we refilled it, we would have probably, it probably would only settled six or seven feet. Um, if we had taken the time to maybe refill it a couple of times, it wouldn't have, it would have settled and, and we would have been able to uh, fill that void in and it would be fuller than it is, but we didn't go back to it. So um, once we got the silo full, we leveled it all off, put the cover on there, we pitched some corn around the um, outside of the silo onto the cover and then we ended up throwing that corn all around on top of the cover and back out to the edges to seal it up tight and then we ended up cleaning all of the corn dust and whatever um, off of the unloader here and um, that added to the material that was on top of that tarp you want to have something on there to keep the tarp down so the air can't get underneath it but as you can see I mean we're going to be able to go right into uh, feeding this there's some crap around the, the edges but there's nothing there's nowhere near the amount of spoilage that you'd have had you not had it covered this silo is 24 feet in diameter and um, if, the, if this wasn't covered there'd be a lot of corn to uh, clean out of here there'd probably be at least about a foot of uh, rotten material in here to uh, clean out then of course this is just as this is just as good as can be here so um, we're gonna be able to go right in the, go right into feeding it here so um, it's gonna make good feed so we're gonna climb down I ended up putting a um, piece of plastic on our chute here that we're going to send down through there and that's just going to act as a um, funnel if you will to go into the discharge auger that takes it from the silo to the silo into the commodity shed there we end up dumping it right into the back of the commodity shed and that's how we load it with the um, payloader so we usually run the unloader while we're while we're loading and mixing feed and um, you know, it takes a couple hours to run out the amount of corn that we need every day. So we're not throwing the mixer wagon underneath the silo chute and waiting, you know, a half hour or so to throw out the amount of corn we need for a load of feed. So we're going to climb on down and uh, that's going to wrap it up for uh, this job here. All right, we're all done here. Right, Sean? Sean says, yeah, we're all done. So, um... We ended up dropping this clean chute down into about here, which that works pretty good. If we weren't using that, the corn would be pounding down and it would just be a dust bowl down here. We got enough dust and crap on the ground just from uh, running that unloader a little bit and then kicking all that crap down through the um, silo here. So we're going to pick up our garbage and that's going to do it here. All right, we're just going to tie a string on. Uh, cable here so that we know when to take a door out of the silo. I usually take out two doors at a time so when this string goes up this is going to be the top of this one door here when it goes up to about you know, the top of that metal bracket there. I know we're close to taking a door out so let me just keep sliding the string down here. Okay, so that's going to about do it, guys. Uh, Vinny's just cleaning up the mess. And, uh... Alright, so we're into our first uh, full day of running corn out of the silo. And our control panel is right on the uh, uh, wall in the side of the commodity shed here. I've got the silo running now. This is the box to... Uh, 
turn the silo loader on, that's the switch there to turn the auger on. And then we've got um, the winch control there to where we can lower the unloader. So I'm just going to lower this down a little bit. Said, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please All subscribe. Right, subscribe uh, to the tab there. Here here and the before like it comes over to the wall, and then we're going to get the thumbs up. Run on, down the wall, and get inside that pile of water and search.